Let's do a review in Windows Server 2019 on Windows Firewall. You can still get to Windows Firewall the traditional way by going to Control Panel and going to Windows Defender Firewall is what it's called now. However, in the future, you'll probably have to go to the Start button and click on the Settings button. And from here, you can go ahead and just type in Defender and you'll see Windows Defender Firewall. And then we'll click on Advanced Settings, and there's our firewall. Now it looks very similar to what it looked like in Windows 2016 and 2012 and beyond that. Uh, but getting there is going to be uh, a couple different ways to do it. So we're in Windows 2019's firewall, which is now called Windows Defender Firewall. And there's several different things that we can do here. We can open or close inbound rules as well as outbound rules. So if we go to inbound rules, we can see anything with a check mark next to it. And a green check mark means that it's open. If we no longer want that to be open, we can just right click and choose disable that rule. Uh, we can also do it with a whole bunch of rules all at once and choose disable. And then if we change our mind, we can go ahead and enable those rules again. Now, if we're not sure what the rule even means, you can double click on the rule and you can go to where it says protocols and ports. So we can see this particular rule is allowing port 10246 in to our server. Protocol number six just refers to TCP. That's just the, uh, the protocol number. So it's nothing, doesn't mean anything there. UDP has a different protocol number. However, it's the ports that you really want to look at when you look at uh, local ports. Another thing to look at is advanced. So by default, you're going to see block edge traversal, which means that if any other subnet, including the internet, wants to get through on this port, it's not going to let it happen, even if it's open locally. So what we have to do is go to allow edge traversal, click apply, and now that port can be open both inside the, the uh, subnet you're on as well as other subnets as well. And you want to check on the specified profiles to which this rule applies. So if you're not sure, are you on a domain, a private, or a public, you can go down to the little picture of the network, go to Open Network and Internet Settings, and scroll down to where it says Network and Sharing Center. And that tells you the type of network you're on. So we're on a public network. So if we go back to our firewall, we can see that this particular rule only work on a domain. It won't work on a public network. So if we want this to work, we've got to check the public box and click Apply. If we want to add a custom rule, just go ahead and click on New Rule and choose whether it's a program, and you'll have to browse to that program, or a specific port, and you can go ahead and enter that port, and we'll just enter uh, just a random port number here. And we'll click Next, Allow It, and we're going to allow it no matter what type of network it is, and we'll just call it the five rule. And then we'll click finish. And it'll go right to the top. So if we want to double click on it and change it, we can say, oh, you know what? I also want to add another rule. Let's make it all those. All right, click apply. And we have to add the lower port number first. So we'll just go ahead and change that. We'll just do port number one. And then we'll do port all those fives. Click apply and now it's okay. So don't put the lower number after the higher number. All right, so once all that's done, uh, we can see that our port is allowed. And again, if we want to change our mind, we'll just right click and choose disable. And we can also right click and just delete the rule altogether. If we go to outbound rules, if we want, we can block outbound traffic. I know a lot of people would like to uh, block port 25 in case their uh, particular network gets hacked. So it turns it into a spam bot or something like that. So we'll click on there, click block the connection, next, all different networks, and we'll just call this uh, block SMTP outbound. Now, if for some reason we do get hacked and it turns into a spam uh, type of uh, server, then uh, it cannot send outbound SMTP traffic. And you may want to do the same with other types of traffic that you don't need to have to go outbound. So that's an overall look at the Windows Defender Firewall in Windows Server 2019.